You're watching Tap Out Tea. So I'm rolling with a white belt today, and he's 225 pounds, six foot tall, and a silver medalist at the last good fight, which is a submission only grappling tournament. So I got my work cut out for me. Anyway, we start in guard. I start in guard at least. And as you can see here, I'm trying to not to do the lean in thing, but he is moving around and just grabbing me. This is when he went for a sweep, and I just hugged onto him because I didn't want to get sweeped. Now, I get sweeped a lot by this guy. It's really hard to not get sweeped by him. He's just big and strong. So, there we are. And basically, I try to put my hands under his legs just to see if I can do that one guard pass, but it doesn't work, and then he tries to sweep me again. And then we kind of are getting too close to G and the other purple belt, so, you know, white belts should move out of the way for purple belts, but for some reason I think the rules don't apply to me. I mean, look at what I'm wearing, monochrome. I heard that monochrome is bad luck, but I really don't care. You know, I do whatever I want. But I'm still doing the lean-in thing, and I'm realizing this, so I'm posturing up, and Bob always grabs my head. So as you can see here, I have fixed a lot of my posture, just like Hair Mayhem told me to. And... Something else that I saw in the comments was basically that I need to open up his guard with my elbow. I didn't have a chance to do that. He just did a sweep, and now he has neon belly, and he's heavy. The majority of this fight now, I believe, is going to be him on top. So, this isn't fun because he weighs a lot, and it's never fun having someone that weighs this much on top of you. I'm not saying he's fat or anything. I'm just saying he's big, and it's hard to take things that are big. See what I did there? Yeah. I'm not talking about the grappling, what I just said. Anyway, <laughs> Bob is uh, sitting on top of me, and he has mount. Now, normally the higher belts go up on me with mount, and what I'm trying to do is keep my elbows in. It doesn't look like it, but it's really hard to get my elbows in there and make space. I mean, he's just making it really rough for me. And... I'm trying to get him off of me and it's not working. I shouldn't be pushing like that. But basically my elbows are out and he's like you look what he's doing with his uh, arms. He's grabbing onto my elbows and he's just trying to control it that way. And he was really close. If it wasn't for us being nogi, he probably would have gotten it. My stomach did get smaller. Wow. Anyway, enough of the ADHD. He is still on top of me, still doing bad things to me, still grabbing me and he pulls in an arm bar. But he didn't have his leg right, so I rolled up with him. So, white, or white belt, it's not as hard to do this on him as it is with the higher belts. And the higher belts always armbar me. So, I've gotten used to, like, pulling up. But, anyway, Bob is pulling me down because I left my arm out. And what I'm trying to do right now is not lift my arm out and try to recover. Bob does a good job at controlling all the positions. I'm doing a good bo job surviving. Job Bob rhymes. I almost said Bob. Good Bob surviving. Who knows? Anyway, he's hugging me. I am in an open guard. He just flips me over just like that. It's the white belt killer is what they call that sweep at my gym. But, you know, oh well. Now he has the gift wrap and this is very uncomfortable. So, I really don't know how to get out of this. There's this like 14 year old named Ryan who wants to be a professional fighter and he knows how to get out of this. I didn't really ask him about it. Maybe I'll put a video of him up beating me, but he's 14, so I don't know if I want that on YouTube. But again, I'm the guy that always says there's no ego in jujitsu. Maybe there is a little for me. But anyway, he has me in gift strap and we're struggling. I'm, well, he's not, I am. And I try to grab onto his leg, but you know, eh. At this point, it's really hard to breathe, so he tries to get the triangle, and I stack him. My neck still hurts from all of this, and basically, I stack him, but then he rolls me into uh, the purple belt, so we have to move, right? And I don't remember how we reset. We were going to reset from guard, but I think that's how we were, and now that I'm watching the footage, we really weren't, but basically, I got the advantageous position, so I passed his guard easily just because that's the position we thought we were in and we really weren't and now I'm trying to control it but he just uses his strength and flips me onto my back and there I am covering up my head no daddy no don't hurt me no daddy no that's from uh, Mr. Deeds I believe 
and you know the one football player in that film was getting beat by a belt with his dad for cussing at a lady now the football player was much older he's an adult so it was kind of funny and comedic now my channel doesn't endorse child abuse so if a child was being beat with a belt it's not really that funny so don't want to do that that's probably why they don't have that that much in movies He has the Americana right now, and I'm just trying to survive. Now, it's Nogi, and my rash guard's slippery, so I can struggle and get out of it. But basically, he still has the dominant position, and I am doing my best to survive. And I think I'm doing a fine dandy job. But look at this. He just wraps me up in that gift wrap position again. And what am I going to do? I think he's going to go for the armbar again. And that looks like it's what he's about to do. So what I'm trying to do is getting my back to the mat so he doesn't pull the arm bar. But he's still in mount. And basically, we roll around a bit and he has my back. And I'm actually not super uncomfortable in this position, but the bell runs out and we're good. So there you guys go. That's my roll with another white belt. And I didn't lose. In fact, he dominated the more powerful positions, but I didn't get tapped out, so that was great. So anyway, thanks for watching my channel. You guys are the reason why this channel is growing. Really appreciate it. If you guys could please like, share, subscribe, and post a comment down below letting me know what you think. That'd be great. Thanks and you guys have a good rest of the night.